Hello and welcome. My name is Angie Holden and I'm the blogger behind The Country Sheet Cottage. Today we're going to talk about the Cricut Mug Press again and this time we're going to talk about different mugs and blanks that you can use inside the Mug Press that aren't the Cricut Mugs. So what happened when Cricut came out with the Mug Press is sublimation blanks are hard to find so they came out with their own line of mugs which is amazing. That means now we can run to Michael's, Joann's, grab a sublimation mug, make that emergency gift idea. Now the Cricut mugs come in two sizes, a small and a large, but they also released sizes that you could look for with other mugs and blanks that would also work inside the mug press. What were those dimensions? They said to look for 11 to 16 ounce capacity, a diameter, so that means this way of 3.2 to 3.4 inches and a maximum height of 4.72 inches. So I headed off to Amazon, all kinds of other websites that sell sublimation blanks and started purchasing everything I could find that I thought might work in the Cricut Mug Press. And I have a list for you of things that will work. So you want to drop down to the comment section I've listed tons of different options. We're going to turn the camera around. We're going to take a look at some of the things I've made. Take a look at some tips and tricks for loading things into the mug press because there are some tricks. Now, I've got a couple of different mugs that are not Cricut mugs that I've used in my mug press. Of course, I'll link those below. Those are simple, right? So we would press those in the same way we've talked about in the past two videos that I've done on the mug press, and I'll link to those below as well. You can use those with sublimation. You can use them with infusible ink. Now, the other blanks I have here are all sublimation blanks. What does that mean? That means that they have a sublimation or polyester coating on the outside. So this mug is not from the Dollar Tree. You can't just go to the Dollar Tree, buy a mug, put it in here with some infusible ink and expect it to work because it will not and you will be very disappointed. This is a special mug and it has a special coating on the outside. So that doesn't mean that you'll need to special order those and you can't just buy these at Walmart. Now, I, like I said, scoured all the websites. I have, I have tumblers for you. I have can koozies, like metal can koozies. I have, this is my favorite, absolute favorite, mason jar. Um, some of these are taller than the 4.72 inches you're thinking to yourself, right? You're like, you can see that right on the screen. So what we're gonna do on some of these, and yes, this is a clear glass beer mug. It is a sublimation blank, so it has that coating on it. And what I did for this one, I've already made one of these, is I turned it upside down in my mug press after it had my um, sublimation or infusible ink on the outside. And this is not on right now. So I turned it upside down, then I pressed it closed. On some of these, like this tumbler, it has like a plastic top. I would just remove that before pressing. And again, on this one, so the area that you can press is this flat area up at the top. So I just turned it upside down, added it to my mug press. Um, on some of these, like this metal can koozie, we just talked about that. I couldn't figure out how to get, it has like a plastic insert up here, and I couldn't figure out how to get that out. I was afraid I would break it. So I actually put it in my mug press and I closed the mug press with that plastic just a little bit hanging out of the top. And so that helped me like press the can koozie without worrying about this plastic piece melting. I don't know if it would or not, but I don't want to risk my press, right? So let's turn the camera around and let's look at some of these in detail, how I press them and some of the projects I made because I know you're going to want to see that and we will see just what we can get out of this mug press. So when the mug press came out and I kept hearing people say, but you can only use the Cricut mugs, I took that as a challenge to find other things you could use instead of something that would hold me back or hinder me when I have my Cricut mug press. So now I have tons of blank options that I can use. So let's take a look at those a little closer. So finding the mugs on Amazon is fairly easy because most of them will list the diameter and the height as well as the ounces, but I will link to these two below. So this one is pretty large and then this one is smaller. And I made one of these with infusible ink and one with sublimation. So here's that one with infusible ink and I just took different colors 
and I will link to all of these SVGs and files used in the description below so you can make exactly this mug if you would like. Then this one is with my sublimation printer and this is like the top reason you need a sublimation printer. And again, I'll link to the file for this one. So if you have a sublimation printer, you can print and then add it to a sublimation blank, whether that's a coffee mug or not. So next up is this cute like mason jar shaped tumbler. And all I did in this case was take the lid off, drop it into, of course, put the design on the outside and then drop it into my press, close it just like I would normally. The only thing is on this, you will wanna use like heat resistant gloves once it's done pressing to remove it because the entire thing will get hot and I'll link to these gloves below. And then this is the one that I made. I made it with infusible ink, but again, these are sublimation blanks, so you could use it with sublimation as well if you would like to and just put whatever design you would like on this little mason jar tumbler. Next up is this super cute beer stein. So this does have a sublimation coating on it and this is the portion that can be pressed, like the flat portion. So what I did in this case, once the press was heated up, I added actually infusible ink in this case and then I turned it upside down in my press and pressed it that way for the full time. Again, like you wanna be careful when removing this. I think the glass got pretty warm and then allow it to cool and then remove it to reveal your gorgeous design. So there's that cute infusible ink design on this and you can see like it's kind of see-through because it's on the glass and you can see through the infusible ink. Would be the same with sublimation so just be aware of that. So next up is this can koozie. So it's a metal can koozie with like a plastic insert. So the plastic insert does stick up from the top a little bit. I couldn't figure out how to get it out. So all I did was I just put it in my press with the plastic sticking out and I closed around it as the plastic was sticking out. So just left it up a little bit because my design wasn't anywhere close to the top anyway. And that worked perfectly. I was just worried about the plastic itself burning. So that was just to note on that. I don't know if I'd do like a full wrap with those because of that. But here is this design. Now this was a sublimation design. I tried to cut it out of infusible ink and these like little pieces were just like way too thin to weed. So I just did it with my sublimation printer, but you could definitely choose a different design for infusible ink because this is a sublimation blank and we'll work with both. Now let's talk tumblers. So this is one that I found that will work. I did remove this plastic cap at when I needed to press it. And you can only press on this you know, flat area up here. So all I did once again was turn it over. Then the plastic bottom here sticks out anyway and the plastic handle. The handle's cool to the touch of course when it's done. So you can just lift it out. And I actually did my logo with sublimation but you could add any design you wanted to to that metal tumbler. So here's the one I made just with my logo and my sublimation printer. Super impressed with the way this looks and I can't wait to use this one. I found like a metal coffee mug, um, comes with this plastic top and I only ordered one of them because I was actually super convinced that it wasn't gonna work, but I think it is gonna work, so we're gonna try it. Um, so first we remove the plastic lid and then we taped down, I just have an infusible ink design that I taped on it. And then I'm just gonna add it to my mug press. And this is tight like the large Cricut mug is. And I just want it all the way to the bottom. And then I'm gonna press down this handle. Try to move that around. And then it's gonna count down for me. Now I will need my heat resistant gloves because that handle is metal as well and it is gonna get hot. Once this is done, I'll just lift it up, add it to a heat resistant mat and we'll allow that to cool. Okay, and there's my metal mug after it cooled off and I peeled off the infusible ink sheet. And the same thing with this Pilsner shaped tumbler. I actually only bought one of those because I was convinced it didn't, it would not work. And it worked perfectly, used it with infusible ink. So let's talk about finding blanks that will work in the Cricut Mug Press. Now that I have you super excited about everything else you can make with your mug press, head out, pick up your mug press, order some blanks from the description below. So you might have to click read more when you see that description to get the full list of blanks. Head down there, start clicking some links, start picking up some mugs. Remember that 
I did a combination of infusible ink and sublimation on these and we will talk about sublimation and the mug press in a future video so hang tight on that one because I have some really great ideas for the use of the sublimation printer and I'll go ahead and link to a video below where I took a regular Epson inkjet printer and I switched it over to where it would be a sublimation printer and that's like the cheapest way I know of to get into sublimation so if you are looking to do things like the cuteness of this flamingo and rain boots mug you'll definitely want to look into getting a sublimation printer and I think you'll be really excited about the things I have planned with the mug press and sublimation and it might push you even further into wanting a sublimation printer so I'll link to that below as well for now I'm gonna grab my monogram mason jar or I mean the tumbler with my logo on it one or the other have a drink and think about everything else I can make with my mug press because this just makes me even more excited for finding even more blanks that I can use in this. So if you are like as excited as I am, start surfing around. It's not as easy as you think it is. So again, the dimensions, what they say is 11 to 16 ounces. Obviously I'm breaking that rule with some of these larger like tumblers. I'm gonna break that ounce rule. The main thing I was looking for is the 3.2 to 3.4 diameter and an area of 4.72 inches high. They say maximum, but I was just looking for that area that was flat. So it does need to be straight sided. And so on this mason jar, there is an area that is around four inches or so that's flat. So I knew I could put that into my press. Then the other thing to remember is things like this get hot. Keep those heat resistant gloves on hand to get that stuff out of your mug press. Like the handles on the mugs stay completely 100% cool. But if you are pressing some of these other pieces, you will want to use the heat resistant gloves to remove them, allow them to cool, then remove all that tape and everything. So just a few things to remember, but you are welcome to surf around and look for sublimation blanks of your own that might work in the Cricut mug press. If you find some, you know what your job is? Your job is to drop down to the comment section and tell us all about it so we all know and we can all start using it. So drop down there and tell us all about it. If you like this video, if it helped you, give us a thumbs up. If you have any questions about anything we've covered today, feel free to ask those in the comment section below. If you haven't already, head on over to our YouTube channel, hit that subscribe button. I already talked about the sublimation video I have planned. But I have so many more videos planned with your Cricut machine, with the Smug Press, tons of different videos that you don't want to miss. So hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Thank you all so much for joining me today and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.